going back again on to this because it's very important to understand the uh, Microsoft, the Dynamics 365 storage requirements. And this is the slide I presented earlier, so I will not touch upon it fully again, but to kick it off and to reiterate, if you, for instance, buy sales enterprise, the amount of storage that you get is listed in this table. You will get 10 gigabytes of uh, default storage for Dataverse database with a 250 MB per user accrued um, uh, storage uh, for your base licenses. There's the same for um, a Dataverse file uh, storage, 20 gigabyte base in the tenant and two gigabyte for each user that you have a base license for. Then for log storage, you will just get two gigabytes. If you need to expand on it, you can buy it in increments of one gigabyte um, as per show. There is three types of storage, the Dataverse database storage, with, which is priced at 30 euros to 35 euros, depending on your price level per gigabyte per month stores and manages table definitions and data dataverse file storage which is listed at 1.5 to 2 uh, gigabyte per month uh, stores attachments to notes or emails and is containing files and there's dataverse log storage which is uh, listed at seven and a half to eight and a half euros per gigabyte per month and records changes to tables and attributes over time for use in analysis in the past um there used to be only one type of storage. Microsoft has split these out, this out over three different types of storage. And as you can see, it's not cheap. So the old storage used to be along this price point, 1.5 to 2 uh, euro per gigabyte per month. But the most used storage, uh, what I've seen so far, is actually this very expensive one. Good to note in the upcoming section as well, if you are moving from the old to the new model and you are using a lot of storage that it is worth investigating how you are using your storage and if you not rather use file storage than database storage because file storage as you can see is a lot cheaper um, you have additional uh, storage alternatives for business central and um, operations database and file capacity Now, on top of your capacity requirements, you might want to host multiple environments for production and or non-production. Microsoft considers a few type of production environments. There's database environments, which is the foundation for sales, customer service, field service, marketing, etc. It can be freely created if the correct amount of storage is available, a minimum of one gigabyte per additional environment. Then there's the application object server environments, which is for ERP. Um, if you need additional production environments, you can buy these uh, application object server um, uh, environments, but these will uh, be at an additional charge and need to be set up in conjunction with Microsoft. Business Central, uh, if you need additional environments there, they're available as well. Non-production environments are used for user acceptance, testing, sandboxes, or test environments not running in production and not accessible by end users. And again, for, as stated, for ERP environments, you can add additional sandboxes, sandboxes by ordering the correct additional license. 